Breast cancer prevention is always a tough thing with medication and uh, we have uh, tamoxifen available. We also have one of the aromatase inhibitors available. Um, the issue are a lot of these studies that have been done um, prevent breast cancer but they don't save any lives. So at the San Antonio meeting we saw a wonderful follow-up of 20 years of tamoxifen use but no one lived any longer. So even though we cut down the breast cancer rates what that study tells us is a lot of the people who developed the breast cancer, the vast majority who weren't benefited by the drug, must have been, or who didn't get the drug, must have been cured. Um, because a lot of these people are in studies and getting mammography, etc. So I think that this, the decision to use prevention, one is dependent on your risk, which can be calculated. I'm not talking about women who carry BRCA1 or 2 genes. That's a little different. I'm talking about the average woman in the community um, who, who might be interested in this. So you can calculate your risk on the web through a, a model from the National Cancer Institute. Um, you can see what your breast cancer risk is five till your next five years till your age 90. You could, uh, that risk might determine what are the potential benefits of drugs like tamoxifen in lowering risk. I mean, no one wants to get a breast cancer if you can prevent it, but the issue is drugs like tamoxifen have side effects. So in older postmenopausal women, in postmenopausal women, there's small risk of cancer of the uterine lining. Um, there's small risk of blood clots. There's some women get terrible hot flashes, and they may not say, I'm not going to take this to cut my risk from 5% to 2.5%. Uh, it's just not worth it to me. The best value is actually in younger women who have periods, who keep their periods, or older women who have had a hysterectomy where they're not at risk for that cancer. But it's a very tough decision to go over all the pros and cons of essentially uh, prevention with drugs like tamoxifen or raloxifen too in that. And without really convincing survival data where the only survival data that may show some benefit in selected patients is in some very complicated models that account for your comorbidity and your age. Um, for many women, it may be something that um, is not highly beneficial to them.